Hi, this is Matt from Fabnik, and I'm going to show you how to do a lock stitch. This is actually a very simple process. What we're going to do is run our thread back through the last two holes. Uh, we're going to do it with both, uh, both of our threads, and that's just going to uh, lock everything down and create kind of a knot so that nothing will come undone. Now I'm going to take my needle that I've been starting with, so this is my stitch this side first needle, and I'm going to just pass it through the second to last hole. Now the thing to keep in mind with this whole process is wherever your thread is coming out, if it's on top or underneath the previous thread, that's where you want to kind of continue the line. So you can see this one is on top of the thread below it. So that means that I'm going to put it on top of the thread in the next hole. So I'm just going to pass it through there. And at this point, you're going to have several threads through your holes. So you might find it's a little bit more difficult to pull your needle through. Uh, so just use a little bit more force, and we'll just continue with our thread. Okay, and I'm just going to pull that guy, and you can see I've got a nice parallel stitch. What I'm going to do now is spin this around, and you can see here I'm coming out on top of that stitch, and remember, whatever side we're coming out on, that's where we want to continue. And I'm going to take the same needle, and I'm going to run it through the next hole. And again, I'm going to keep it on top. And then make sure that you pull that so you have a nice parallel stitch. So actually, we're finished with our first thread. And now I'm going to do the same thing with our second thread. And here you can see I'm on the bottom side of this thread. So I'm going to put it in underneath. pull it through and make sure that, that is a nice parallel stitch and actually this side is complete so what I'll do is flip it around and again whatever side you're out on you want to do the uh, you want to follow it so actually this time it looks like I came out on top of that thread uh, and that's fine what I'll do is just keep it on top again so we have a nice parallel stitch I'm going to go on top of that thread, push it through, and pull it. And again, you might be a little tight here on your last stitches. And now I'm finished. What I'm going to do is tighten those guys up. So I'm just going to pull them tight. And I'm going to get a pair of scissors and just come in and snip those as close as I can. And that's it. That's your complete lock stitch. Thanks.